This instruction video will show you how to create a database in ABCD from scratch. From the administration interface, we'll create a database. The database name will be My Database, with the description also My Database. To create it from scratch, we click for simply New Database and click Continue. The process of creating a new database takes a few steps, starting with the field definition table where you define the fields you are going to use in ABCD. On the first row, we'll define a field of the type field, which is the field sort, the tag number We'll start with field number 1 and the title, which is a label. In this database, we'll just create two fields, a name and a telephone number. This is enough. We won't use any pick lists or any default values or help text. The telephone number will be in the next field. It will be tag number 2 and we'll call it telephone number. Telephone number. No extra fields needed. You could test, list, or validate. And since it's so simple, I will click update to make this effective. The next step is define the field selection table. This field selection table defines which indexes should be created for ABCD to create search forms. My first field will be indexed with a prefix. So we use the prefix subfield indexing technique and my extraction format will be the default format. It's quote slash I'll use NA underscore for a prefix. That's the prefix I will refer to in the search form. Slash, quote, comma, and the field number. In this case, it's field, field number one. I'll do the same for telephone number. I'll index it by subfield. And I'll index it with the prefix TE for telephone. I'm not sure whether I would use this index, but I'll define it anyway. And it extracts its format from field number V2. Once I've done this for these two fields, I'll click the Update button to make it effective. Third step is to create a display. A display format or a print format, as it is called. You can create it by dragging or pointing fields from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. On the right-hand side, the fields that are displayed in your display will be effective. With a double arrow, I click all fields to the right. I'll have ABCD generate the code for the display. I'll choose one of the options. The prettiest is table and ABCD will automatically generate the code for this display. These steps are enough to create a database, so if I click database, ABCD will do all the work to create the database definitions. It will end with a message, remember to sign the users of ABCD. That's what we do later on. For now, I can go back. And I will see that in the list of databases, there's my database. It's still empty. Before I can input data there, I go to the utilities and click on initialize the database. <coughs> I can click all database records because there's no records in there. <coughs> so if I go back, I could enter, start entering data. For the search form to be effective, I go home 
and I need to change the database definitions and click the advanced search form. This will be my search form where I will give a label for the field in my search form. The field index ID, I can read it from here for the name is 1 and the prefix use is NA underscore. I'll do the same for telephone number. It's field number 2 and the index I used was TE underscore. I will update this advanced search form. It's updated and I'm done. So then I go, can go to data entry to enter my first record. I click the new record icon and it will give me a view saying name, telephone number. I'll input it, Peter, and the telephone number is 12345678. I'll click the disk icon to save this record. This is the record I've entered. To check whether my search definition is active, I go to the magnifier to do a search command. The two lines are here, name and telephone number. I can search for Peter. I'll execute the search and it finds this record. So that proves that the definition has been correct. That's the end of this instruction.